a look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Aww. Also, there's a bunch of stolen shirts and jackets in her locker. Okay, so now I have the basement key. Should I try to go into the dark room or go into the locked basement? Basement. Basement. I got I rebelled playing Diablo 2 for 80 hour sessions. God. We're good. Oh, not stealing jackets. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, the basement door was... That way. I wish I had a knife button. I just... I'd feel much better about it. you the new girl Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and right back. Oh. Fucking noises. God damn it. I already looked at that. Oh yeah, totally normal basement. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Sweet grilled cheeses. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday. A fancy man, quite. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate. Cute. Potato chips. Hopefully carbs will save me from whatever lurks. Aww. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. We get a little fricky. But it's secret. Holy See, fuck, that scared the shit out of me! I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or <clears throat> go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. That's cute. Why is this creepy ass fucking furnace? Ah. Ah. First place science fair. Product system worksheet, Caitlin Greenbrier. Wait, what? Oh, it's a health class. Some 
old stuff. Huh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go into the creepy fucking furnace room. Why is the thunder and lightning so loud in the basement? Babe. I love you. It's not funny. <laughs> Are you spooky? Are you too scared? <laughs> Richard Greenbrier, Professor Laureate of English University of Oregon. And their face has been torn out. How rude. 4K gold hearts. Oh, cute. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. Oh my god. With a father's love and encouragement, Richard Greenbrier, PhD. I'm going to guess that your dad and Gramps didn't have the best relationship. Uh, Samantha Greenbrier won. Dear Samantha, congratulations. I am pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track. Oh, awesome. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff oh, for? Oh, shit. I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was, like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. So Lonnie is shipping out after school. And the sister feels bad. Understandably. Hey Sam, I'm writing you from... Moltz? Multnoma Falls? I'm here on stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Ore Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit, here you come. That is adorable. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Okay, first all, first off, nobody should ever be told to toe the fucking line. That's dumb. Secondly, why are there so many fucking newspapers in this basement? 
Mason's pharmacy changes hands. Masson's. Oh, that's Oscar's name. Not creepy at all. Oh my god, that fucking pipe scared the shit out of me. What? Where am I? Women outlaws. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. Oh, I found a cassette. Heavens to Betsy, terrorist. I'm sure that's a lovely song. This one's for you, Grossman. Girl justice now. Kicking against the patriarchy. Had enough. Heard enough? Heavens to Betsy. Girls to the front. Ready to join the revolution and take the stand against Grossman and the patriarchy? Awesome. They made like a little indie comic book. The Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral... Costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from the smells like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. Uh, oh, are these like notes for the memos she was leaving me? Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate your time and effort to put into writing your letter. It shows initiative and well written, and it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours. The fact of the matter is she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another studi student doing the same to yours is immaterial. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. It's hard. That's part about being a human. Just trying to understand yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Wait, where the fuck am I now? Guest room? Oh, that was that door that was locked. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about the attic. Composition book, Samantha Greenbrier. Sighting journal. A tall shadow on the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? I was not wearing my glasses. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. It's. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I had read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Also ghost milk. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported several sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possibly possible ectoplasm in the attic, probably leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Hey Sam, you were asking what my... Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training, I am born adventurous. No borders can hold me. The army, army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Cute. Alright, and then there was this cre creepy room at the other end of this hallway, right? Not that way, this way. Wait, where is this? Oh shit! Espanol! Call Daniel. Daniel says he's coming over to get his game back. The Inside Edition investigation team visits camps whose specialists help adolescents overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality. Oh no. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. Oh man. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. That's pretty fucking heavy. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And when she's home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. She's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. So you would rather live with your mom in Florida? No. Uh, 
that's tough. Head of personnel, deer head conservation is green bar due to your exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed burn services need for operation per directs you to regional operations. We would like to offer you the position of reg regional conservation management director. Oh, cool. Froth week. Okay, so this way is... Guardian angels up above. Bless this house with lots of love. That's fucking creepy. National tickets. Earth, wind, and fire. 1995. This skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Xmas. Miss you, Lonnie. P.S. Treasure it always. Must have been the skull on the shelf there. In the main room. The foyer. Eh. <laughs> Mom's purse. Fuck mom's purse. Hi Jan, I got two tickets to Earth, Wind and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in more than, oh no. Rick is making his move. Zines. If you're out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that you're absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school and clearly. Once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so that this won't happen again. Oh boy. Disciplinary referral. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school suspension for four days. For the zine thing? I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. That's tough. Well, joke's on them they're in for one very long phase. Yeah, you tell them. Vatican is weird! As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull, probably. God says, no butts in heaven.
First off, congratulations, Shannon Green by our regional director, and I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the r job, right? What are you writing? What are you waiting for? So I have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Cute. I like mom's friend. Huh. The gits. Yes. Sister's got good taste in music. There's a garden outside. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Aw. This house is getting a bit ridiculous. There's a tape player and a tape. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Has she got a job? Jonathan Blair requests the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter. Helen Margaret. 1995. Half past four o'clock in the afternoon. Huh. Dope, they got one of them fridges with the water dispenser. That's a banana. Nothing extraterrestrial about that banana. American sandwich slices. Good old fashioned rasp berry jam. Cola. Ice cream fish sticks. I want fish sticks. Uh, is there a light in this room? Oh, it's already on. It's just really dark in this corner for some reason. Oh, they're like remodeling the... Kitchen stuff, chips, chaps, the bits. Need letter. Congratulations on your new position. So mom accepted the new job. There's lots of highlighters everywhere. Oh, they passed up going to Rick's wedding. Church potluck. Oh, they're churchgoers. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact dates. 